Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Bitphoenix Aegis case. This happens to be the blue edition. It also comes in black, white, red, and yellow, uh, in addition to the blue color. And one thing's for sure is you don't always need to have the largest case to fit most components into it. I've used quite a few smaller cases now and been able to fit full-size systems into them. This is another good example of just that. And with this case, you get a nice clean look on the front here. They also have a core edition, which doesn't have the little LCD panel. There, there's a little LCD screen in the middle here that you can set your icon, any icon that you want, as long as it's the right size. And they give you directions on how to do that in the, in the guide for this. Well, anyways... Let's take a look at the features of this case, and then I will show you the accessories that it comes with and the benchmarks of what the system, how the system tested out. So on the front panel of the case here, there's really not much to look at. Uh, as I said, there is the programmable LCD here that you can set a, any icon you want on it. Um, the front bezel does come off pretty easily, but it's designed to be simple and clean and also to reduce the amount of sound that the fans may make that you're, so you don't have to be listening to it. There is ventilation on the side of the side of this and the bottom of this so that whatever fans you have in the front of the case do get air to them. Um, on the other side you get a smooth color coated panel and then on you have the windowed side of course which is a beautiful large window so you can see the entire system. On the back side of it again very simple clean you got spot for a 120 mount 20 millimeter fan here. You've got a couple water cooling holes and there are actually six thumb screws. Two for each side panel and two for the top because the top also does come off to support radiators. So what we're going to do is look at the top here. On the top you've got your your um, fan speed controller, three fan speeds, You've got a power button and a reset button, two USB 3.0 connections, as well as a headphone jack and a microphone jack and two LED indicators for your hard drive and power. This also is a pop-out filter on the front, on the, or not on the front, on the top. And then if we take off this side panel, we can pop off this, this front bezel and you can see this is where the LCD screen actually is and it is does have a plug on it that you can remove so you can take that front panel off to work with the case. You've got a lot of room here for putting in up to a 360 millimeter radiator. Of course that may require taking out the hard drive trays. Um, I actually have a 140 millimeter radiator in here right now so that's cooling my CPU and there is a fan filter that goes here or air filter that goes here if you are not using this for radiators that is magnetic um, there's also one on the bottom I'll show you those in a little bit with the accessories we've got a full system in here as you can see this is a mini ITX system it also supports micro ATX boards I actually think it probably would work better with the larger micro ATX board because you'd have a little bit more spacing between your cables. Right now it looks a little bit crowded up here because that's where all the connections are on this motherboard. So we've got our tubing running over for our CPU cooler. We've got a full size 280X graphics card in here with plenty of room to spare. So there's lots of room for um, extra fans here in the front or, or even longer graphics cards. There is another hard drive bay like this one here that is installed on the bottom of it by default. I did remove it just to make my installation a little bit easier and since I wasn't using it I left it out. The other thing you're going to notice your power supply has a cover on it. This is easily removable. 
there's two screws on the bottom and this pops out and that makes installing your power supply easier and also it just hides your power supply very nicely I really like that of course I've got my water cooling radiator up here mounted in the front there are two screws on the bottom as well for that hard drive bay I'll show you that when I show you the accessories as well you've got two three and a half inch slots these are on drive trays drive slides so these actually just pop into the side of the drive and you slide it in and it clips into place same thing with your SSD there's two spots for two and a half inch drives here there's also another spot on the back here that you can install an SSD into so they've made this so you can pretty much not have any hard drive bays if you really want to you can put a two and a half inch SSD in the back here and that's all you really need to be able to run your OS so that's really cool um, with that said they've also made this compatible with custom water loops so on the top here there is a bracket for putting your reservoir and on the front or and then there's another bracket that they include for mounting a pump to so I did remove the uh, bracket for the, the pump or for the reservoir because I did want to show it to you without having to kind of lean the case and make it so that you can barely see it um, but this whole top comes off unscrew the two thumb screws and this will slide off um, you do have your front panel to contend with here unfortunately but as you can see on the top here they've designed this so that you can put all kinds of stuff in here radiators fans etc um, this is where the the reservoir bracket connect what is connected into by default when you get it it's just screwed into here you take the screws off if you want to remove it and install your reservoir and then stick it back in no big deal um, you can sort of see the top of the two and a half inch drive base here as well and I got my SSD in there so what you really get with this case in my opinion is a very easy to install flexible mid tower case that has a lot of ability to mount extra fans to do custom water loops or to um, put in liquid cooling in fact the front supports a 360 millimeter radiator or 280 the top supports a 280 the bottom you can put a 140 on the back you can put a 120 on so there's plenty of places that you can put liquid cooling radiators here's an example of what the LED strips can do for your case it really can light up the entire thing and I did put one of the blue LED fans in there just so you can sort of see what that looks like so these are the uh, Bit Phoenix 120 millimeter LED fans this is uh, one of the blue ones here we have a look at the other side of the case um, there's plenty of options here for cable management I know this looks quite a bit messy right now um, but you've got rubber grommets up here all along the top all along the bottom and there's lots of room on the bottom here where the power supply cables run through this is for the built-in fan controller so all you do is connect up a Molex 4-pin Molex power connector to it and you have four fan headers that you can use for that fan controller you've got a little kind of punch out in the tray here where you can run cables up a lot of things are tied down along here and you've got all these little places where you can tie down um, zip ties to and everything to make it look neat again I think this this uh, case would be much easier to use with a micro ATX board rather than the mini ITX board just because I had to run all my cables to one spot on the board rather than them being spread out a little bit so why don't we take a look at the benchmarks and then we'll check out the accessories so as you can see from the benchmarks the case performed really well especially considering it only comes with one stock fan however 
you have lots of opportunity to increase the cooling on it. What I want to show you is all the accessories that this comes with. You, this is your reservoir bracket. So this is what was installed into the top of the case uh, so that you can install a reservoir for your custom water loop. Of course, sometimes the reservoirs have a pump on them already. So that's cool. And you're all set. In case they don't, they also include a pump bracket. So you can mount your pump to another bracket and put it into the case. That takes care of your your custom water loop stuff uh, on this and you also of course get air filters so these are magnetic they just stick to the to the to the inside of this and also to the bottom of the case um, with magnets this is the other hard drive cage that is installed into the bottom of the case so this can hold another two 3.5 inch drives so for you get a total of four 3.5 inch drive locations and three 2.5 inch drive locations. Of course you get screws for your motherboard and these also are the screws that are used for the for the brackets on this. You get a set of screws for holding in your SSDs to the back there. You get your fan, some fan screws to connect into uh, some extra fans a standoff with a standoff tool, a single standoff with a standoff tool because most of them are pre-installed. You get your hard drive slides for your two and a half inch and your three and a half inch. Now these do actually have some rubber on them so they're going to help reduce the noise on the drives. And these, these are the um, covers that are in the expansion slots on the back of the case so they are reusable if you decide to take a card out and put them back in anyways that's the bit phoenix agus and i really appreciate you watching this i hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube facebook and twitter pages take care